Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the force developed in the short length BD and the tension in the core CE, CF, and the reactions at the ball and socket joint at A on the block. So let's draw our free body diagram. We know that we have a reaction here, a force that we need to find this way, um, a tension going straight up here, and let's just say a vertical reaction AC here. So let's draw a little table on the side. B, D, C, E, C, F, and A, Z. Table of the values that we have to find. Perfect. So now let's get to it. Our static uh, functions say let's do some of the forces in the X is equal to zero. In the X, we know that we have uh, minus C, F plus 6k. That means a CF is equal to 6k. Easy enough, 6k, 6 kilonewtons. Um, don't forget all the forces are in kilonewtons, so it's 6 kilonewtons. Um, some of the forces in the C is equal to zero and is equal to, I don't do the Y because there's no force that I see going on the Y. So that's why I'm just uh, skipping that one for now. Now I'm going to do some of the forces in the C, which is equal to zero, and it's equal to BD plus CE plus AZ minus 9K. BD plus CE plus AC is equal to 9K. And I'm going to call this equation one. So now let's do the moment. Hmm, let's see. Assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments on the y is equal to zero. And this is equal to now. In the y, e, the forces creating a moment are CF, AC, and the 9K force. Now, the BD force is not creating a moment because it's coming straight out of y. I mean, yes, yeah, coming straight out of y right here. Um, same thing goes for CE is coming straight out of Y, so it's not creating a moment. And the 6 kN force is also not creating a moment because it's coming out of straight out of Y. The other forces are though. So forces are CF times 1.5. Whoops. CF times 1.5. Stupid software update. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, where was I? Okay, so CF times 1.5 is basically the distance between C and the Y axis, and I'm trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. Then we have the AC times 4, which is the 4 being the distance from where A is applied to the Y or the origin. So that is, uh, and it's negative because it's also trying to turn it clockwise. And last but not least is the 9k which is positive. 9k times 4, the distance between where these two forces happen and the y, and is trying to turn it counterclockwise. So if we solve for AC, we get that AC is equal to 9 times 4 minus CF times 1.5 all over 4. Why did we solve for AC? because there's two variables in this equation and we already have one of them, which is CF. We found it right here. So we, we're gonna plug that in. We solve for AC and then we plug uh, CF in and you're gonna get that AC is equal to 6.75 kilonewtons. We write it on our nice little chart. Now, Almost there, some of the moments in the X is equal to zero. We're gonna assume counterclockwise is positive. And on the X, you know that AC is not creating any moment because it's being applied right to the axis. 
BD is coming straight out of the axis, so that's also not creating any moment. The 6 kN force is parallel to the axis, so it's not creating a moment. The CF is parallel to the x-axis, so it's not creating a moment. And all the others are. So, and the, the only, yeah, the only ones creating a moment are the 9 kN force and CE. So, sum of the ones on the x is equal to 0 and it's equal to the 9 kN force times 3 because that's the distance between where the 9 kN force is applied and the x-axis. And it is negative because it's trying to turn it clockwise. Now we got CE times 3 because that's the distance between here and here and it is where it is applied and sorry times 3 and this is positive because it's trying to turn it current clockwise. So uh, they both have a 3 so right away you can tell that CE is equal to 9k. CE is equal to 9k. And if we plug CE to equation 1 and AC, we plug it to equation 1 and we solve for BD, we get that BD is equal to 9k minus AC minus CE. We plug the values that we found in and we get that BD is equal to negative 6.75 kilo. Newtons. Negative 6.75 kilo. Okay, yeah. And this is a K2, guys. Sorry, I forgot the K there. So BD is negative 6.75, CE is 9, CF is 6, and AZ is 6.75, all in kilonewtons. Final answer.